Hello everybody, welcome back to the channel. My name is Josh and I sell used stuff on eBay. We got 30 somewhere going out today, probably somewhere around 35. It is a Monday morning, pretty decent sales weekend over the weekend. Great sell on Amazon this morning. Actually, Amazon's been really good this last week. I think like out of the last 10 days, I've sold an item on nine of those days. So very, very happy with that. Sold one book today for like $370, which is absolutely wild. I got that book in trailer load of books where I paid $200 for the whole trailer load. So I paid for all of it. I actually have a second copy of it though that I picked up on eBay for $75. So hopefully that copy sells soon too. But yeah, that was a great start to the day. Now we got some orders to ship out. I have all my listing done for today already. So now I'm gonna ship everything out. And then after that, get some photos done so I can list some stuff tomorrow. But anyways, that's the plan. I'm gonna show you guys what sold here. Oh, and one true gather sells well. I'm gonna put that up on the screen now. The power went out. If you're new to the channel, I have to walk over here all the time and set off that motion sensor. And I always forget to do it before I start filming. But anyways, one true gather sell, I'll put that up on the screen. It is some Mikasa China. I leave all my China and breakables at home instead of transporting them here to the storage unit and then back home. Sounds like a good way to break some China, so I don't do that. But anyways. Let me show you guys what else sold. All right, we're gonna start on the floor here. I've got two lots of my blank VHS. So there's 20 in the bottom lot, 20 in the top lot, 40 total. The buyer paid, I believe, right at $40 plus shipping for that. So very happy there. Love seeing those sell. Absolutely great. I find these more often at estate sales. Garage sales, usually people don't even bother putting them out, but you usually get around a dollar a piece for these pre-recorded blank VHS. So very, very cool. Quite a bit of clothing going out today as well. This is hard to see, but this is like a big dog beer shirt. I think we got around $20 for that, so pretty cool. One piece of fabric here. This is made by, I believe, Ginny Beyer, who did a lot of the fabric that I've got listed. Really, really great. Some books, just like always, we do have one cookbook. It's a Victorian sampler. I think I got like five or six books for this. Somebody sent me a little bit lower offer and things have been slow for a couple hours. So I just went ahead and accepted it. So yeah, Eureka Springs, Arkansas. There's actually quite a few of these out there. It's kind of more of a touristy type place. This is a fair faucet shirt. Unfortunately, there are some stains on the back, which really hurt the value, but vintage fair faucet. That type of stuff always does good. High eight Sony cassette. Listed for seven. I think I had my store on 5% off when this sold. So just a little under that. So, so easy. Um, this is an older FUBU jersey, but it's just in bad shape. As you can see, the stitching starting to come apart. It just has not been taken care of. So I did take a lower offer to get it moving. Here's a sewing machine part. This is off a of 401A. I don't even remember what all's in this bag. I think it's just like a, some random parts that were left laying around. And since that is a good machine that sells quickly, I decided just to list it. Ooh, here's a Nikon charger for a camera, but unfortunately I didn't have the camera. This came in an electronics lot that I got from my uncle who buys estates. So just making a little extra money there. Very happy with it. Another sewing machine part, presser foot. Kubota manual. Picked a whole bunch of these up for right around a dollar a piece. They are selling amazingly, love those. That was absolutely a great buy. This has been listed longer than I've been actually selling CDs. I got this in a box of like old PC games and decided to list it. It is one of the oldest 500 items in my store, so very glad to see it gone. Would not list this nowadays. Very, very low price there. Maybe make a quarter after shipping supplies and everything. Winnie the Pooh sweatshirt. I remember this now. This is like 80s, 90s. It's nice to see this type of thing selling in July. Sweatshirt sold. This cassette here, and also honestly, this brand, this Maranatha Music, I've been having really good luck. I don't know if that's like a band or what the story here is, but I've been having fairly good luck with their stuff, whether it's CDs or cassettes. There's not a lot of it out there, but it seems to sell pretty good. A lot of times it does go international. I think a lot of this, I believe it's Christian, but this might be more like Jewish stuff. 
not a hundred, it looks Jewish just looking at this, but who knows? Good sell on that. This is a lot of these Reader's Digest books and my Saran Wrap came off, unfortunately. I'm considering not even listing these anymore. I don't pick them up individually, but if they're in a bulk buy, I will hang on to them. I think I sold like eight of them for $9 this time, which is not really worth it. So I don't know, considering not even messing with these anymore. I used to get just over $2 a piece for them, but it's dropping down to more like a dollar a piece. And by the time you pay fees on shipping and they take up a lot of room and storage, hey, we got a bookmark there just not really worth it anymore. So I'm considering not messing with those anymore. Gundroff Vanth Von Hees. I think this book has to do with like print type. Picked up a lot of books at an estate sale two years ago that were either woodworking or print type, which is a weird topic. I think, I know this came from there. So I think this is print type. Now, I hear a lot of people talk about records how the, ooh, look, that one's signed by Bob Brown they don't like to sell gospel records because they kind of consider gospel as in the same class as like big band or old country vinyl, but gospel really does great for me because a lot of this is very low print. This is the only one out there on eBay at the time. Can't even find this thing on Discogs. And this is the type of stuff I love listing for 15 to $20 and I usually get about that. This was put out by a funeral home somewhere in Oklahoma, if I remember correctly. Bethany, Oklahoma. So, pretty, pretty cool. And then one last thing in the storage unit. Some more sewing machine parts. So yeah, that's it for down here at the first unit. I'm gonna pack all this up. In my trusty Ikea bag, and we're gonna go down to the other unit down the hall. So let's do that. All right, we are down at the second unit and I now have everything pulled. Not gonna waste you guys time watching me actually pull the stuff out of bins, but it's pretty simple. Got custom SKUs. They've all got numbers, A12, A11, A10 for my totes. Sewing machine, same thing. Sewing one, two, three, four, five. And then anything that will fit in these bags, I just got them numbered. This is 1070. 1071 already sold, 1072 is right there, 1073. So on and so forth. And when these empty out, I put another one, pull this one from over here, put it in the back over to the one next to it, and just condense them that way. So yeah, that's how I keep things organized in here. Bigger totes for bigger containers, and then some, or for bigger totes for bigger items, smaller spaces for smaller items gonna have these over here and I got some stuff just like setting out on the shelves like my receivers and different things like that a large vacuum cleaner that type of thing but anyways let's look at what's sold we got a Williams Martini racing hat this is like a Formula One I believe brand new got a lot of these Formula One hats they are doing really really great very happy with them I'm gonna show you this interesting book plot this came in this morning so we got this little muzzle loading kind of like pocket book here. Here's a book on like knitting, stitches. I don't know. Then we got this undercover by John Roy Carlson. This is like, it's a Nazi story. I'm not sure if this is fiction or nonfiction. I would guess it's fiction, but it's got like Nazi story in it. And then here is Lady Bird Johnson, a White House diary. And this one is signed. So interesting lot. We got like Johnson signed Ladybird, a Nazi book, which I think is fiction, Loom Knit Stitch Dictionary, and Muzzle Loading. I don't know if we might can figure out. That person's got some interesting, interesting things they're looking out for. Who knows? Here we go. This is I don't even know. I'll put it up on the screen, but it's sold. Looks like maybe a dress, which I don't sell very many of. What else we got up here? Okay, here's a three DVD set on trains. Great American Rail Journey. I think these came from a DVD lot and I put them together. Asked $10 and ended up taking an offer for seven. So those sold, let's put them in the Ikea bag. Oh, this was a terrible idea. I got a, I had a set of these that I picked up in a lot. 
bought a carload of books that day. It was a really good day. Made a lot of money that day. But this was missing like one of the books out of the encyclopedia set. I decided everything's falling. I'll pick that up in a minute. I decided to try and sell these individually. So I listed them all at like $7 a piece. It's been a year and a half, and I think I've sold two, maybe three. And those ones I've taken lower offers for. This one sold for $4.50 plus shipping, but I'd have been better off, honestly, just getting rid of the set or maybe even just buying the missing one and filling it out and selling it that way. But yeah, not happy with that because they're taking up way too much space for the dollars that they are making me. Probably needed to go and just get rid of them. Next, we got this old iPod Touch, eight gigabyte. It's got some like residue on the screen. Probably need to clean that up before I send it out. That sold. Let's see what fell on the floor. Here's a pair of shoes. I have no idea where these came from. Shoes and stuff by Sabika. I have no memory of those. Has that ever happened? Do you list things and then don't remember ever seeing them before? So this, let's talk about this. It's a 4K 8 Ultra HD. And the only way to actually get this one is with the Disney Insider Rewards. Have you ever seen those? They're inside the DVDs, the Disney DVDs. You usually get like one, 200 points when you enter that little code into their program. And I've actually started using, see that Disney Insider right there, that logo? I've started whenever I'm buying these bulk lots of DVDs, entering those in and then picking out a movie that my kids wanna watch. And then I get the digital code version of it. And so we now have the digital code. My kids have probably watched this like 15 times. Plus I got to sell this and make like probably four or five dollars. So I got this for free from Disney by using their insider rewards from all my DVD lots. Got a movie my kids want to watch. We now have the digital version. Sold this without the digital code. The discs are basically brand new. The discs have never been played. But yeah, I think I need a second Ikea bag. So yeah, that's something I've been doing lately. It's not really worth your time entering in those codes just to get the movies, even if you are selling them. But if you're getting something you want as well, that digital version of the movie, and then selling that off, I think it's been great. This is a pair of brands I just experimented on, ended up not being worth it. It's not even gonna talk about it. Here is one pin. I need to be careful not to lose these. I have a tendency to sometimes lose them after I pull them even. It is a Masonic Grandmaster. It says Oklahoma on the back. Just got this in a big lot of pins. Kind of weird, it was the only mason thing in that whole lot. Let's see. The Good Earth by Pearl Buck. Sold that, sold this book a couple of times before. Not real sure what it's about, but sold it a couple of times. Let's see, what else? Oh yeah, there's two other things. They're both at home. One is a lot of Monster High. I did an auction on this twice, actually. First time, buyer didn't pay. Second time, which was last night, the winning bidder right after the auction ended was like, um, can I cancel this? I didn't realize that some of them were missing their hands, which happens a lot with Monster High. <laughs> and I was like, okay, so I went ahead and canceled it because I'm not gonna ship something out to somebody that doesn't want it. They're just gonna return it. That'd be dumb. Anyways, right after that, I get a buyer from somebody else that bid on it the last second. They said, hey, we put in a bid of $50 and we see it ended for $50, but we didn't win it. What's up with that? So I told him, hey, the other winning buyer canceled it. I'm just gonna relist this as a buy it now at $50 and you can buy it. And they're like, great. So then they bought it, paid $50 and it's going out. So it's the third time it's been sold. Hopefully we're good here. I haven't ever shipped it out though. So first time shipped it out, that sold. Oh, and then there was one, it's another breakable like ceramic Hawaiian looking vase, mug. I don't know what it's called this thing. I'll put it up on the screen. I used Google Lens to find it, which worked really good for that type of thing. Worked great for action figures. But yeah, a lot of ceramic stuff that worked really good on for me as well. But anyways, I'm gonna get out of here so I can get this shipped out. It's Monday, these people want these orders. Also, first class shipping, it's gone now. Can't use it anymore. My listings with first class still have it on there. We have 30 days to change it over. So just kind of waiting. Seeing if eBay gives us a little easier way to do it. If not, I'm gonna to have to turn on business policies, do it that way. Not really looking forward to that. I 
keep thinking what they're going to do is have some sort of button on there that's like, these are the listings that need updated and let us sort by them somehow, but they haven't done that yet. Kind of like whenever promoted listings change from 1% to 2%, they had a thing that was like, promoted listing is not displaying on these items, you need to update them, click on that, update all your promoted listings, no big deal. Hoping for something like that. Got 30 days to figure it out, so I'm not really worried about it at all, but you need to figure that out pretty soon. But that's enough rambling. Let's get out of here. See you guys next time. Goodbye.